you guys. Um, so I don't have makeup on my actual eyes today. Uh, I just got out of the shower. Um, I'm getting ready to go to the gym, so I don't have a lot of time. But I don't have makeup on for a reason, and that is because my Pinky Paradise lenses have come in. And I want to do a quick review on these, but I don't want to be, um, you know, to have like my heavy eye makeup overshadowing the lenses. So I wanted to just kind of have no makeup on my actual eyes so that you can see like the colors and the coverage. Uh, so what I've got here is the white, nope, those aren't it, white screen lenses. So this is the first time, where's my camera? This is the first time I would ever have tried screen lenses. So you can see them there, if they will focus at all, focus. Um, well, I'll show them better outside of the container, but um, I've also got my blind contacts here, so I'm going to do a screen versus blind contact comparison as a bonus just so that you guys who might be curious might want to know. Um, I wonder if I could do this. Uh, there you go. Just so that you know what the coverage is like, what the difference is like. And these are prescription. So I bought those myself. I ordered those. They sent me uh, this Barbie gray lens to try out. So that looks like that. It's got this really weird different design on it. Let me make sure it's going to focus. I don't know if you guys can see that or if it's focusing on the wrong thing. Kind of reminds me of spider webs, but I know it's not. And then they sent me a red lens. And I've never tried red lenses before. Well, I tried one really generic shit red lens in my youth. And uh, they weren't very good because I've got brown eyes and so with my brown eyes it just looked like poo but I got this thing with a package so I have no idea what this is there's a picture of a chick having it on her head so I don't know if it's meant to like hold your hair back it's just basically two pieces of velcro not quite sure what that is the packaging is quite nice it comes in this little envelope and it's wrapped up really well and wedged in here in between this like pinky uh foam to protect the glass cases, which is quite nice. Um, they did send me these two mismatched pairs to review for them uh, because they had been giving me um, uh, coupon codes and I was like, well, I don't feel comfortable reviewing or giving out coupon codes because I don't know what your product's like. So they sent me these two. They said that they might have my prescription, they might not, they might match, they might not. These don't match, but they do have prescription. Um, this prescription is slightly higher because the thing is, is that I've got astigmatism as well as bad eyesight. And so my way to get around that is to order contacts that are slightly higher than my prescription to try to compensate for, you know, whatever. So these are 6.50. These are 7. Not sure which ones are better. I guess I'll find out today because I've never tried them back to back. Um, they also send these little lens cases. And it's got a little heart on them an L with a heart. They're pretty sturdy cases. They're not, you know, cheap. Like this case, this old case that I have here, it's kind of sturdy, but it's, it leaks. <clears throat> these are very tight. I'm not sure if these will actually leak. Um, quite nice little cases here. So I've already, uh, taken the, the metal off of the vials because that usually takes a while. The metal's quite hard. So I'm just opening the cases now so I could dump the vials into it. I have no idea why I'm losing my voice thing. I've been talking too much. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I think I'm going to start with the Barbie gray lens. And the lens didn't even come out. Go on. And then the red one. And that way I can do the white screen and the comparison kind of back to back. And I've got another code for you guys as well. Um, it's not a coupon code. It's just a code that you add with your order. And again, I'm not making money off of this or anything like that. It's just, uh, I know a lot of you guys use this company. This is to see if I like them too. But the code is just to give you like a free gift whenever you order. So you can double, triple, 
quadruple, whatever. You order one lens, you get one gift. You order two, you get two gifts, like that. And there's no expiration date. So I'll add that in the description for you guys as well. And that's from them. Um, <coughs> sorry. What the hell is going on with me? This doesn't make for a very nice video. Okay, so I'm just getting my blind contact ready as well. Shoot. So let's start with the gray. And I will see if I can zoom in. Oh, that's not pretty. There you go. That's probably not pretty either. <laughs> uh, my mismatched eyes. Trying to get contacts out of a contact case when you can't see is not easy. This one's a bit sticky. It's kind of sticky to the bottom. Oh, I've also never ever used circle lenses before. So this will be my first time. <clears throat> so, um, this is the uh, Barbie gray lens. I don't know if that's showing at all. Um, remember, I'm blind. But that's the lens right there. Like I said, it's got a really interesting design. Really curious to kind of see how this will look. I'll just go with my left. So that's the um, the Barbie Gray. I've got sunlight behind me because I've got the door open. I'm trying to look into the camera. Um, it is actually quite comfortable. They do say that these lenses are really comfy and you can't feel them. Um, this is what it looks like next to my eye. Not really a huge difference, but uh, I quite like it. You can see it, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's try the red. So this is the red on my finger. And now let's see. Ooh, that's interesting. <laughs> I've never seen myself with red eyes before. That's pretty cool. So this is what they look like together. That's very odd. I can see, which is really cool. The 6.50, I can actually see. Uh, that's a more natural look, obviously, and this isn't. I think this will look really cool with makeup on. I, uh, I like the coverage. It's got some pretty good coverage for being cheap lenses, and I mean cheap as in cost-wise, not quality-wise. Uh, the only lenses that I've really worked with are top name brand and $800 lenses, which I do not recommend to anybody because that company is a piece of shit, so don't go, don't ask me who my natural-looking blue eyes come from because I will not promote that company, but... This, this is kind of like a more pink than it is a, a red, I think. It, it comes off of my eyes more pink, but you can actually see them. And they've made my eyes look quite big, like my, I mean, that's a point because they're circle lenses, obviously, but I'm really digging this gray. Even though you can see my color in the middle, it's not as apparent and disgusting as I thought it would be. And this as well, the the red kind of blends into the brown where it's not so obvious, like, oh, wow, that looks really bad. So here's as close as I can get. I don't know if this is blurry or not because I can't look at the camera screen and the screen, the uh, camera and the screen at the same time. So hopefully it's not too blurry and you can see. Well, that's what it looks like. And this one... So that's pretty awesome. All right, so now let's try the screen contacts, which I'm very, very curious about. So I'll take these off first. They come off very easily. And then I'll close it up so I don't lose them because I'm bad at that. I lost one of my blind contacts, I think I mentioned in one of my other videos. I don't know if the videos come out yet. And I'm really not happy about that. 
So now I can't find the flying contacts again, which is why I've ordered um, these screen ones. So I was ordering the screen ones so that I could, you know, review the product before I was giving out the coupon code. And while I was waiting for my order to come in, they actually sent me lenses to try out, which is why I have the two pairs. So I did pay for these myself, um, the screen ones. I overfilled the container a little bit. So you probably hear the water spilling out all over my lap. God, that sucks. Okay, so here's one screen lens. So this is what that looks like. I've always wanted to try screen lenses, so I'm very, very curious about this. I was spilling water all over myself. It does the job. Um, you can see the screen quite well. I'm not sure how it looks to you guys. I'm going to put the other one on so that I can see. Because uh, I can't see with just one. So there goes the screen again. That's what it looks like uh, next to my normal eye. So your vision with these is um, kind of blurry, not not blurry, but hazy. You can definitely see no problem at all. It's almost like looking through sunglasses, like, you know, your, your vision's tinted, except with this, your vision's tinted white. So uh, I can see it just everything's kind of uh, like there's a smoke or fog in the room. But my actual vision's not impaired at all, which is really cool. Um, whoever invented screen lenses is genius because it gives you the white, the white out effect, but it doesn't impair your vision. And um, this is what it looks like up close. This uh, prescription was pretty good. Yeah, I like the way they look. I think they look pretty cool. I think they'll do the job. When you get up close is when you can really see the screen, which I don't like, but from far away, it gives you that kind of washed out dead look, which is really cool. And with a little bit of editing, I can lighten it even more and make it look even more like, wow. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take one of these off and I'm going to put on the blind contact, the only one I've got left. So this one here, this is the blind contact. As you can see, it's completely opaque. You can't see anything through it, and so it's really hard when you're trying to do Halloween because you can't see. So I could probably mix and match these and just uh, edit to make them both look blind if I need to. But that's the difference in the way that those look. So as you can see, the blind contact is much, much more impressive as far as the ew wow factor kind of goes um it's it's way more you know but you can't you can't unfortunately wear it because you know you like this and you can't see through them uh there's yeah they're opaque so um while they're good for photos and everything you can't actually use them, uh, but these you can use. And so together they, they're impressive and they would make like really good zombie photos. I'll zoom out so you can actually see a bit better. So like that, I think that looks really creepy. Even I can see from here that looks quite creepy. I can't see where I'm looking here, but I can see here and, um, Man, I wish these had come in yesterday because I really want to wear them. I really want to get dressed and wear them, but I have to go to the damn gym, so I can't. So, uh, taking that one off. I, uh, I am really, really happy with these lenses. And I can't wait to have a play around with them. So, now I can say that, um, woo, let me 
everything looks funny now. Pinky Paradise, uh, they write you back. They send up the products. The products took a little while to get here, but everything takes a while to get to New Zealand. Um, <clears throat> I think it was estimated between 14 and like 25 days, and it probably came around the 14-day mark. So nothing too extreme, nothing to worry about or get mad about. Um, pa I like the packaging, very sturdy because uh, sometimes they're not wrapped up very well and they just kind of toss the, <clears throat> the products in. And I like the fact that they come in glass vials and not the little, the little open packs because that's just, uh, I don't know, those seem very cheap, I guess I'd say. And, um, now I'm wishing I had a matching pair of the gray and the red because I'd like to wear, I, I would love to wear contacts to the gym because laying down and lifting weights and stuff, my glasses do this, they slip on and off. And so it's kind of uh, urgent for me to get a hold of some contacts that I can wear out because it's not, it's just not going very well with the gym doing that. But, um, I would definitely recommend them. Um, I can finally say that definitely recommend them. They are comfortable. Um, I have something in my eye here. So this eye was a bit irritated, but this eye is fine. I probably have soap or old makeup in my eye or something. I don't even know, but, um, I could still tell that the contact wasn't irritating there. They're thick plastic, which worried me because I've bought some contacts that are made. They feel like they're made of the same quality. And, um, those contacts were so cheap and so crap. It was like you took a Coke bottle upside down and cut out contact lenses from it. And so I was a bit worried for a minute, but once I actually put them on my eye, it was like I wasn't really, really wearing anything and it didn't instantly dry my eye out or make me feel like I was wearing contacts. Though I've got quite non-sensitive eyes, as you can probably tell by how quickly I can pop them in and out. Um, I still know the difference between good contacts and bad contacts and for the price, these contacts are really good. So, um, the coverage is amazing, much better than I expected. I did not have my hopes set very high for the coverage, but I'm, I'm quite happy with what I saw today. And so again, definitely recommend them. I'll put the code at the bottom. Um, depending on when I upload this, uh, there will maybe be some time still for the Halloween code. I have a Halloween code. It's Raven Sparks 50. It's for 50% off. And that's how I actually, I use the code on myself. That's how I got the screen lenses. So the screen lenses with prescription for a pair, um, with shipping cost me 17 us. So that's really good. Uh, whereas the blind contact for one contact cost me 30 New Zealand from New Zealand. Um, and then I, I had to buy them separately as well. And they're of course not prescription cause you can't see. So what's the point? But, um, definitely check them out. I, I'm going to push some of my other videos back so that I could upload this. And then I've got my mermaid blanket reviews. It's a second chance review, which I haven't done before. Cause as you guys know, I, I got a mermaid blanket before and I reviewed it and it wasn't very favorable. And so I've tried out five more blankets and, um, in my Logan talks about abortion video, you'll see, uh, him in some of the blankets. Oh, I have my coffee here. My hands are really dry. Sorry. Um, yeah. So you'll see uh, him in one of the blankets there. Uh, after that video, I've got a blooper video of him trying on the blankets and kind of doing a, a review from a, with a man wearing it, which is really funny. It's not very long, but, um, my review is a bit longer. It's a bit more in depth. Um, I'm really, really enjoying the opportunity to review stuff because, uh, it's not stuff that I'm sent. Um, if I'm sent it, I usually say it, but I, it's buying stuff. Um, like I bought this, uh, this eyeliner here and it's just random brand extreme. And, um, I've, it's a felt tip liner and oh, I can't open it. Ugh, lotion hands. Anyways, a felt tip liner. This is the best one I've ever tried. So I ordered more and I was going to do a review on it, but I don't really have much to say. I might, I might not. It depends if I have other makeup to review at the same time, but, uh, I'm such a stickler for good customer service, good products, getting what your money is worth, getting your money is worth and having companies actually give a shit about their, their customers and realizing that their customers are who, who make them, you know, 
that uh, this is like, it's like my calling, I guess, to, to just have products and review from the perspective of somebody who knows and appreciates customer service, who expects good customer service, and who expects good quality products for your money instead of the trash that you're finding out nowadays. So I love being able to inform other people, um, especially people who might not have a lot of money like me. And I could be like, well, if you're poor, you can get this, and this is worth it, and this isn't worth it, and you'll always have a true review from me. You won't have a sugar-coated, you know, ass-kissing lie. Um, I'm always honest with you guys, and I dread the day when I come across something that I really don't like, but so far it hasn't happened, and um, the companies that have good quality products and that care enough to either send a free sample or to ask you for a review or to contact you if you give a bad review, those companies kind of deserve a second chance or deserve your attention because it shows that they obviously value as a person, value you as a customer. And um, so I see nothing wrong with helping them out and checking out their stuff and spreading the word because let's face it, in this day and age, pretty much most stuff is you know, talked about and sold or interest is raised due to word of mouth. And so, you know, it could go the wrong way as well. Like with, um, FXIs, uh, they've get, they, they get bad reviews from me. They've paid off people to give them good reviews and people are finding out that it was my review. That was the real one. And the other ones are paid off because they're a shit company with shit products. And, um, they don't care about you at all. Like they think they can run on their own without anybody. Don't go to them. Do not go to FXIs. There's another contact company that I want contacts from. These are the ones I'm trying to save up for because for my prescription with astigmatism, um, they'll be like 300 bucks. And that's like my goal is to get these contacts, um, replace the ones that I have that are really old and upgrade to better and newer <laughs> contacts with my prescription, which I also need to afford the prescription fee, which is like another 50, 60 or so dollars. So it'll be a while, but as soon as I get my hands on that, I'm going to do a really in-depth and probably over the top amazing review because I've seen these contacts on many people and they look absolutely amazing. Super excited to do that at some point. But for now, I hope you guys enjoy this. And if you have never ordered from Pinky Paradise and you want to know where to get good lenses from, it's a good and cheap place to go to, um, I do recommend, so sorry this dragged on a little bit, I'm gonna go and put the rest of my face on because I feel very naked right now, and I'll see you guys later. I just thought I would throw on some makeup so you guys could see this is what um, the contacts look like with makeup on, and I'll do the white ones in a second because I had a little bit of time, so this is the gray one. I don't know how well I'm showing that. And then this is the red one. So I flipped them around um, so that I could be sure that it was that I had something in my eye and not that it was a contact itself, just in case. But this eye still hurts, and it didn't, and this eye doesn't hurt. So I definitely got something in my eye, and I cannot find it. I can't figure it out, so oh well. But that's what it looks like with the colors. So quite like that. Uh, don't know which one I like more and if it wasn't so weird I would actually go to the gym like this but people would be like what the fuck so um yeah awesome I'll be right back with the white ones all right and so these are the blind ones I think they look a bit more impressive with makeup on can I just say now that I've got my face on and I feel more like me this is like the coolest thing ever to actually have special effect contact lenses on and be able to see. Usually all of my colored contacts, except for the heavens that I wear, um, the $800 ones, they are no prescription. And so when I wear them, I can't see anything. And to have like these horror, uh, you know, effects contacts and to be able to have prescription on them is like, wow, it is the coolest thing ever. And, uh, <clears throat> so considering uh <clears throat> considering that these are so cheap and they've got prescription, I think that is just amazing. Like it's it's finally hitting me how cool this really is and I'm super super stoked. Uh these are just awesome. I don't want to take them off. They're so cool. 
but uh wow really cool really really happy um it's just so new i could actually take pictures and see what i'm doing which is ironic considering that it looks like i can't see anything but what do you guys think do you guys think it looks better uh, with makeup without makeup um which ones do you like best i got a little bit of panda eye going on here which i didn't really want for today so i'll have to wipe some of it off but um yeah i just want to say a huge thank you to pinky paradise uh for letting me try all those other two because they're not colors i would have ever chosen um now i think i want to contact them about buying the other half to see if they'll send it to me so i can have a matching pair because i actually quite like them and uh yeah i'll see you guys next review and take care and i hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you around